How should a, a Singaporean Arab see himself? He should see himself as a Singaporean. He's part of the Singapore culture. And at the same time, he is also a Hadramin. My grandfather is a first migration. He migrated as a young man to Indonesia. He stayed for a number of years in Indonesia. He, he actually accumulated his wealth in Indonesia and he came to Singapore towards late 1800, early 1900, the turn of the century. When Raffles set up the port in Singapore, he wanted the Arabs to move to Singapore so that they, they can uh, do their trading and business here. They were happily doing their business, the shipping business, the trading, the property, the real estate in Indonesia. But however, Singapore offered them a very good opportunity. So in a sense, it was a win-win situation. For the British India Company, it was by bringing the shipping companies like the Al-Sagar shipping to Singapore and bringing the Arab traders to Singapore, that would kickstart Singapore port, which is why Arab Street is where Arab Street is. Not because it's next to the Sultan, but because that's where the port is. Because the port used to be in Beach Road. So Raffles wanted to make sure that the Arabs had their go-downs, their uh, warehouses near to the port. So, which is what a lot of Hajjidain used to be in a lot of that area is to be. So in, in a sense, the Arabs were the ones, some might, might, might say I'm exaggerating on this, but the Arab as a community is a community that was willing to take the risk of helping build Singapore up in the 1800s. Any person who adopts a foreign culture, he becomes one of them. This is saying of the Prophet. I give it in the Arabic version. فَمَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِغَوْبٍ فَهُوَ مِنْهُمْ if you follow the dress, the, the mannerism, the custom of, of a particular place, you're one of them. In my family, we have Chinese, we have Indian, German, we are Roja in the family. So we don't discriminate each other, we respect each other. What is important here, sense of belonging, esprit de corps, sense of belonging. I belong to Singapore. But one of the saddest things, I noticed my community cannot speak Arabic. They lost the language. Language is according to the Malays and to the Arab culture and the Chinese. It is the soul of the nation. If you lose your language, you lose your soul. <laughs> In my life, the first time I visited was in 2006, when uh, myself and a few members of the Arab Association accompanied then Minister, Foreign Minister George Yeo on a first ever visit to Yemen. And that was my first visit too. To go back to my homeland, it was <laughs> quite emotional. Um, And uh, also, I found that I, when I uh, discounted all the modern amenities in Hadramut, it's like a place where time stood still, never changed. <laughs> it's very important to know where you come from. It's very important to be proud, actually, of your heritage. If you are not proud of your heritage, you're not proud of where you come from, it's very difficult to be proud of yourself.